Okay, welcome back guys. So if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe so you can keep getting more content like this in the future. Okay. So let's get to it. Uh, there's one thing I'd like to do though. Let me see if I can show you guys an example. If I should use some words of this kind from 3D scan store. You can kind of see what do they even call that? Is it even black heads? Probably black call that black heads around this. There's some tiny black heads on top of this. Also, on the pores, you can see some redness inside of the cavity of those pores. So let's try and recreate that also. Let's create something similar to that. The constancy on the crevice is also some texture variation in there, some brown texture variation in there. So let's do that. So let me go back and isolate. Let me solo this out. Okay. Well, I would be. <clears throat> um so i think i will do this do this can you do this in between these two so let me duplicate this first add the black marks to it and i'll use a probably use this this dark dark red tone so I'll just unpick this. Okay, and I'm going to be adding. Okay, already, already, already have a black marks in there. So let's add the generator. Use the curvature generator in there. Okay. Let's visualize this. <clears throat> I think we can actually use this for the black heads. This will work quite nice for black heads. So let's check out the marks for it. So this is the marks for it. This will work just fine for black heads. Okay. So let's see how we can see how we can work with this even more. <clears throat> but I like to break this up. I like to break this up and clean it from some parts. Um. Okay, because this dark black air is on top of it. So let me darken this some more. Push this towards the dark side. Let's get it towards the dark side. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's on the dark side now. <clears throat> so I like to. Uh, add all the fill layer on top of this just to break this up. I'm going to be using a BW, seems like a good one. Let's use this instead. So basically, <clears throat> so basically, what I'm going to be doing with this would be to kind of like how this is giving you this. This kind of stained look on top of it. This is an interesting one. It's actually an interesting one. But on the on the reference image, you can see it has some variations of stain on top of it. Just like it has kind of stained face. So we can actually use this to do some breakup for the stain. 
can't use this to kind of stain up the face some more. So I will just duplicate this and name this to stain. Stain. I'll hide that for now. So let's go back in here. So what I need to do is just to come in here, put this to multiply. So that will kind of break up the surface of those black head, kind of max some parts out. But we need to play with it a bit more. Let's start by putting this uh, triplinear map type triplinear mapping. Okay. So if we should adjust this now, you can see how more of this is visible. Let's randomize this. I don't want the black heads all over the place. I, don't want, I just want it in specific regions. It's almost invincible now. So let's bring some of this out. Okay. Yeah, I think this will work. Since it's just a base, so this will work just fine. All right. So okay. Um, I will duplicate this again. I use more of a brighter red tone for this. So let's pick. No, that's so so bright red. <clears throat> let's use this instead. I'm just limit this to blackheads. Blackheads, okay. Add a black marks to this. Oh, undo that rather. Let's delete this BW. Come into the curvature map. So make some adjustment. Click on the curvature. Let's try cavity in here. Uh. Okay, I think this one should work better. Probably add the levels adjustment to this. And adjust this some more. Just to see more of it. Okay. You can see it all over the place now, but we don't want this all over the place. We don't want this all over the Let me look for something else, okay? We don't want this all over the place. So maybe as it is like this, I can... Oh, I'm supposed to clean up the other one. Let me... I'm supposed to clean some of this off. So let's go back in here and add paints, paint layer to this. It's X on the keyboard to erase. So let's erase this. Erase this for the year also. Okay. I think I'd like to lock the. Where is that? Okay. 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 No, no need. Okay. Think we. Let's see any any other parts. 
Okay, let's start for the okay. Let's put this here. Take this down. Should probably use the dead brush also for this. Okay. We use some of this. Let's see where is some of this kind of like how it is though but I don't comp I don't to completely erase everything so I'm just going to go a bit light handed okay yeah i think this should be fine then let's bring this back on okay it kind of adds a lot of redness to this which i don't necessarily need so let's first break that apart so add another new add a new few layer on top of this uh let's use this instead change this to multiply let's see the max for that okay i think this might work let's see what we have Okay. Hmm. Just kind of add an overall redness to the entire uplifting of the skin. I think this should be fine. Then I'll just see. So I will just um, add a paint layer to this. Let me name this to cavity redness. <clears throat> okay. Uh, okay, yes, then I'm going to erase. I think I'll leave this one for the lips. I'll leave those for the lips. Erase this, most of this for the year. Uh, To erase this, okay. Erase all of this. Right. So I like to darken the eye. I like to darken the eye. Not to kind of darken the eye some more. Okay, so I can do this. Let me just select this, duplicate this. But the black marks, the name is the dark eyes. Okay, I think we can pick this tone here. I think I'll do this with symmetry tone. Let's use symmetry tone on for now. Then later we'll break that apart. Use the brush size. Okay. 
ओके नाउ ब्रिक सिमेट्री इन यू नाउ लेट्स गो डू ए इट्स एक्स एंड यू इज सम पार्ट्स जस्ट टू गेट सम वेरिएशन इन देयर get this like so okay so yeah, i think this should be in a good place already so then this thing let's turn on this thing turn on this thing let me drag this up first let's see no, that's too much thing we dark in this some more okay because it's supposed to have stain all over his face so let's see how we can manipulate this a bit more Now I think this one should be this better. So some parts I need to erase out. Then it's all the paint layer on top of this. And erase some of the stain from this. Okay, so I'm going to select this, copy this, duplicate, drag this all the way up, add the black marks to this. Add a few layer. Put something that simulates things some more. Okay, it's a good one. Maybe darken this a bit more. Yeah, obviously it's all over the place, so we need to turn this down. Let's start by putting this on triplanar mapping. And adjust the balance for this. Okay, no, I think balance is fine. Let's take this down a notch. So you get some stained looking. This texture on top of it, but we don't want to go to extremes. So let's see if we can. Let me increase the contrast some more. Get more contrast in there. The contrast just to make the edges. Let me see if I can show you. Just to make this a bit sharper. So kind of have to kind of crack edges, crack edges around it. This is quite much though. So I need to break this up some more. So let's add another few layer. Let's be using the cloud. <clears throat> Let's use this cloud too instead. I'll use multiply. <clears throat> use the triplanar mapping. Come back in here. <clears throat> Almost like completely trying to hide it. Okay. Let's randomize this some more. <clears throat> some more.
<clears throat> so he just has some stain to him on his face. Stain my stain feels a bit too much, so we're taking this down some more. There's still one thing we haven't added though, some spots around his face. He needs some good spot around his face. <clears throat> so let's add some spot around his face. I'm going to ID, ID this for now. This thing... I think I need to reduce this some more. <clears throat> I'll duplicate this. Name this is spots. So let's try and figure out the color of the spot we want on the face. Okay. I think too much the red should be fine. So turn this back on. Add the black marks in here. This I will take up some more like so. Add a few layer to this. So spots. <clears throat> Let's look for a good one. <clears throat> Let's look for a good one. This looks like a good one. This one looks interesting too. Let's try this one. Let's see. Put this on try planar mapping. Let's increase the scale. Yeah, this has a broken up texture to it. Okay, but obviously we don't want this all over the place, so let me see if I can increase this some more. And obviously you guessed right, so let's break this up. Let's try this BW1 instead. Put it on multiply. Let's see what we have. Randomize. <clears throat> Increase this all the way. Go back to this BW spot. Let's increase the balance. Okay, let's reduce the balance. Randomize this again. We don't want it to be all over the place, so let's see how, what we have now. Yeah, yeah, this should work just fine. Okay, this should work just fine. So this thing should be on top. So let's turn this thing on. Alright, so this should be fine. We can always go back and make corrections and adjustments to this. As we want to, I think we're in a good spot now. So, um, I'd like to introduce more redness to the skin. I mean, to the under, to the uh, I don't know. Let's leave, I'll leave that where it is. So. For the leaves, let's do something a bit more interesting for the leaves. So let's texture the leaves. Maybe I'll do that in the next lesson, next tutorial instead. That will be better. I think we are we can say we are officially done with the skin texture. There's anything we need to do. We can always go back, <clears throat> we can always go back and forth and then and then adjust that however we <clears throat> however we want. But I think it should be fine for now. 
<coughs> I feel like there's one thing I need to do. There's one thing I need to do. Let's go watch your redness. <coughs> So let me create this port. I'll just duplicate this. Let me name this to call virtual edges. Add the black marks to this. I'll increase this <clears throat> some more. And I will add a generator call virtual. Let me open this up. Let's try cavity, you no know, dual. Try to get this edge in there. Hmm. No. Can you really find? Let's check the marks for this. Uh, no. Let us use the cavity. Use bitmap. Coverture. Using the coverture for the face. Yes, I think we can use this. I will then add a levels adjustment to this invert. Invert this. This is what I'm trying to get capture. Because this crevice is around all this curve, even cor concave or whatever it's called. Around, around these regions like so. Around all this region. So that's what I need. So I will need to adjust this some more, tighten it. Okay. So I would add a blom, add the blow filter to this. Okay. I'll add put it in a group. Name this to call virtual edges. Add the black marks to it. So I only want to reveal it on specific parts. So You can use smaller brush size for this. So I'm only doing this around this part. The color I might change later on, though. But let's do this on this obvious parts, just to get a bit of highlights in there. Need some more highlight just to get that to pop some more. Can you do this for the lip? Just to get a base tone for the lip. Okay. Right, the color tone I, I might change though. Color tone, we have a bit more of a yellowish tone around there. So let me, let's duplicate this. Okay, let me duplicate what's inside instead. Mm. 
hide one maybe use a bit of a yellow tone in the brighter yellow tone okay, let's use this instead blow it out some more this is not very obvious turn this back on so how we blend up both words in there and something like this should be fine something like that should be fine all right so that will be all for this next lesson we'll just texture the lips connect it okay well you try to just 30 minutes in just 30 minutes and okay, let's just do the lips in here right away let's go on and just blocking something for the lips right away so i'll duplicate this name this lip base add the black marks in there our lips are kind of closed so we need to go in there let's increase this up first Let's pick this as our base tone. You can actually use the same color code in there if you want to. Okay. So this should just be a base pass. Okay, then I'll duplicate this. I can see more of it. Okay, I can see more of a purplish tone in there, like so. Okay. Add the black marks. Just splash, paint some of those in there. Okay. Let me even go in, zoom in a bit more. Okay, though keeping in mind this particular reference in here, keeping in mind this particular reference. Okay, yes, we can break this up now. I think we can use the. Uh, yes, we can use the. Mm, I'll duplicate this. Push this towards the dark side, towards the dark side, like so. Add the black marks, add a generator to this. <clears throat> okay. Oh, I'm supposed to be reviewing this at 4K resolution. So you can see more of the textures properly. But I've done this from the beginning. But it's still fine though. We can still see you see this properly. So it's still completely fine. Just now we have more texture resolution in there. Okay. Uh This purplish tone, I need to take this down some more. With something faint like this, should be fine. So, back to this lip coverture. Okay, let's go in here. Cavity. Dual. 
Now it's not giving me what I want. Too much. This is close enough. Okay. Can blow this out. Okay. This is the closest one we have. Nah, I'm not completely satisfied with this. Not completely satisfied with that. Let's add this curvature instead. Yes, better. This is what I'm looking for. I think this one is better. Just the post break up the texture a bit more. So I'll add a okay. Let's put this in a group. Deep curvature. Add the black marks to it. So I can paint that in there now. Right. Just to darken it some more. Then I'll blow blow this out. Can I add blow filter in here on the group? Yes, I can. I think yeah, this should be fine. That should be fine. All right, so we can work with this. Very quick save. So that is it. So next lesson, I think we can texture something. We can texture another part. But I think for now this should work just fine. For the stain, we can. Okay, I need to put all of this. Let me put it all of this in a group. Lip, lip. All right, so all of this we have control over. We have control over this for the stain. Okay. All right. Make it safe. So I'll see you guys in the next lesson. Bye for now.